Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario RPG playthrough. Mario RPG on the Switch. Uh, so last time we continued making our way through the sunken ship. We are uh, pretty much at the uh, last room of the ship. Inside here we're going to meet up with the vicious pirate, Jonathan Jones. Uh, so we better get, uh, you know, ready uh, for that fight. I think uh, I'm actually going to start with a traditional team. And when I say traditional team, I mean uh, Mario, Mallow, and Gino. Because uh, there's something I want to do with Gino before we do anything in this fight. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go with this and... Yeah, let's get started. So, you're THE Mario, eh? Har har har. Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you have to fight for it. Okay, so say hello to Jonathan Jones. Um, he is here with uh, four of his trusty... Um, pirate compatriots. We have Bandana Blues, um, and yeah, let's uh, let's get this battle started. Uh, so I'm gonna start by actually Geno boosting Mario, and then I'm of course gonna do some thought peeking as well. We'll start with uh, we'll start with Johnny. Okay, ooh, he's actually got a weakness to fear, poison, and mute, so you can't actually use those status elements on him if you want. I may actually try to do that before I uh, <laughs> actually go to the future phases of this fight, honestly. You're good. Very good. Now this is a fight. We haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> we've literally applied buffs, and that's the only thing we've done. Literally the only thing. Oh damn, he actually goes quicker than the others. Man, they actually... I'm actually surprised they all attacked right there, if I'm being honest. Okay, well let's uh, Geno boost Mallow now, too. Okay, got attack, got a defense. Now let's actually Thought Peak the Bandana Blues. Okay, they're actually weak to fire and lightning. Along with all those other status elements, too. Let's see, I firmly believe blue is best, but I may change my mind. Wow, indecisive. There we go. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is... I mean, I guess I'll boost Gino himself. Not that it matters too much, because I might be switching them out here in a minute, but still. Uh, let's go ahead and use Thunderbolts. And looks like Johnny is all alone. Okay, so Fire Saber is actually Mega Drain. Or, well, it was called Mega Drain in the original game. Honestly, Fire Saber probably makes sense. Because the attack doesn't look really, like, mega in any way, or shape, or form. But still. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Bowser. Because it does say that uh, Johnny is actually uh, weak to poison. So I'm going to go ahead and use Poison Gas. Uh, just to show it off and... Uh, you know, just to utilize this weakness that he has. So now he'll be taking poison damage for the rest of this fight. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and use uh, HP rate on Mario. I think I pressed that too early. That's okay, Mario is still at full HP. Press that too early too. 
I guess we can also use Shocker on him as well. Miss that timing too. He's gonna get tough. Get tough is basically his version of uh, Valor Up and Vigor Up, where maybe it's just a uh, Valor Up where he gets more defensive. He might get more offensive too, but I never really noticed that much. But either way, he'll be harder to take down now as a result of that. So that's basically the short and sweet of that. <laughs> Not bad, fellas. How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Want to mix it up? Good fun, and good for you, too. Crew, look alive and cheer me on. Oh, all, actually, all of them are in the fight now, too. That's kind of neat. I, I like that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, at this part of the fight, you have to actually duel uh, Johnny by yourself with Mario. Um, you can actually prevent this, though, if you leave one of the bandana uh, blues alive until the end of the fight. So if there's at least one bandana blue left and you just focus all your attacks on Johnny, um, you can forego the duel entirely. But, you know, I decided to show it off just because it's classic. I also... Man, that, that mash range. could use some of my, you know, my, uh, special attacks. Or I could use a, uh, very rare... Oh, you actually can't use the toad attack anymore. That's interesting. That or Johnny just doesn't allow you to, you know, use the gauge moves in this dual format. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and use Super Fireball. Why not? Okay, that did a lot of damage. I'll just keep doing this then. I do I do love myself some fried fish. Although, I've never had shark before and I don't really want to, so... <laughs> Let's not even worry about that. Uh, we did get a lucky during that fight, though. So we can double our coins. I'll go ahead and do it. Yes, give us that pirate booty. We also get level ups for all of our other guys, too. Um, what am I going to increase with Mario, I guess? Oh yeah, I guess it's physical attack. Sorry, Mallow. You're going to go with more magic, I think. Gino, on the other hand, I will go ahead and keep going balanced for him, too. I know I mostly use physical for him, but later on I'll definitely get more magical with him. It's just this early on he's better as a physical attacker. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. And there we go, star number five. Hard to believe we only have two left. But yeah, I really like Johnny. I think Johnny's a really cool character. Definitely, I think, has, like, the most potential in this game to, like, come back as, like, a, you know, in a cameo form or even just as a character in potentially another game, I think. There just seems to be, like, a mutual respect here. And that's, like, you know, a very interesting feeling because when I was younger, I hated him. But that's only because I was kind of stuck on that fight for the longest time. Little would I know that the fight that's uh, immediately following this is probably <laughs> even harder. Uh, but another thing you can do... Yo, mate. Just because we're buds doesn't give you the right to jump on me head. <laughs> I didn't actually know you could do that until this remake. Okay, so hop on the trampoline in the next room. It'll take you outside. Go on now. Give it a try. Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Yes, I really did. Okay, well, 
before we go anywhere else, we might as well, you know, rest up here in Seaside Town. That'd probably be a good idea. Oh, God. <laughs> you found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. You're so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Spirovic, a member of Smithy's gang. Shocked? It's no wonder. My impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over, nice and easy. Okay. There's a reason why I'm doing this, by the way. Because, yeah, you can refuse. But, uh, no matter what, you have to give it to him. And, uh, you actually get a worse reward if you keep doing that. If you keep refusing. So, I decided to get the best reward by just handing it over. Hee 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 hee. And to think I get the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius. It scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. All right, everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. Oh, no. Well, very quickly, I do want to heal and save. Which, actually, we're already healed. Maybe I don't need to go heal up. I mean, I'm already ready for this. Um, but, yeah. Um, to address the elephant in the room. Yeah, his name is Spirovic now instead of Eurydovic. And a lot of people point to this as, like, the worst translation rename in the game. And I don't even agree. Because, I mean, it's different, for sure. But, like, my argument is this. If his name was Spirovic from the very beginning, nobody would be complaining. <laughs> and literally... Eurydovic me is basically Spiritovic anyway, because it's supposed to be like a spear, like Eurid or something. So like, what's the big deal? They just changed it to be more, you know, English focused for the sake of us get, having that name. It's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> I think Clay Morton is like a much worse name, honestly. And that's just because it's silly, not even because it's bad, because he is a Claymore. But he also lose on the like the Mac the Knife reference too. So yeah, that's that's my that's my say on that. I, I don't think it's that bad of a change. I really, really don't. Okay, so uh, we do have to take care of uh Spirit of Vic now. Um Honestly, I wouldn't mind having Gino back in the party again. Yeah, let's let's do basically the same thing we did before. And like, let me actually look at equipment too, because I didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, Gino definitely had the signal ring, which he probably wasn't making the best use out of. Um, I'll give him. I guess I'll just give him the safety badge then. We'll get some other options for equipment soon enough, so do not worry about that. The blade's late. What's taking it so long? We need to get out of here. This is just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing we can do now, although we may rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. Not so fast there. That star's a gift to me, mate Mario. You spineless dogs have no code of honor. We'll make you walk the plank. Uh, Johnny, uh, maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. Hehehe. <laughs> I guess we'll have to take our disguises off now. Group formation. Here he is, guys. Eurydovic. 
or Spirdovic. So if I keep using his old name, it's just out of habit. Because, again, I played the original game and I'm used to his name being that. But again, I don't think is that bad of a name. It's really, really not. And the sooner we get over that, the better. <laughs> Oh, he actually has a weakness to lightning. If I lose, I can kiss that promotion goodbye. Sure can. Also, triple move. Might as well. We can use it. We haven't seen it in a while, and it only attacks one target anyway. Damn. <laughs> that did like a fifth of his damage. Um, so here is... Uh, Spirit of Vic's biggest dangerous move, which is, uh, again, Water Blast. Water Blast is very, very dangerous, so you have to be very, very careful with it. It just does a lot of damage, especially at this point in the game. So that's why I'm kind of using Geno Boost to kind of get defended up for it. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and heal Geno. Okay, got it there. Let's go ahead and... Kind of sucks, though, is that I wanted to bring Peach out instead of M Mallow. But actually, I need to wait anyway, because there is something that's going to happen. And while wow, he actually used back-to-back -back Water Blast, too, which I honestly wasn't expecting there. Okay, well, I'll keep Mallow in just until... Because there is a reason why I'm keeping him in. Um, oh, well, Mallow would actually die if he took another... Well, actually, he just got boosted up, so maybe he wouldn't. Okay, I'll heal up Mario then. And see, I'm doing, like, a lot of damage to him, too doing like over a hundred damage which is pretty insane in all honesty uh, I could use Geno beam okay so I'm worried about taking him out too soon because there is actually another feature of him but honestly, if I do take him out, it's really not that big of a deal. It again just kind of shows how much easier this fight probably is in the remake. I mean, especially when you consider the fact that we, uh, you know, did 300 damage just from that special attack. Okay, so he is splitting up now. So, as you can see, there are two Spirit of Vix now. Now, here's the thing. One of them is a clone, and the other one is the real one. And there are a couple of different ways you can tell. I don't remember if this is actually how it works in the remake, too. But wherever your cursor starts, that should be the real one. Um, but more than that, the clone will also take more damage. I think it has a different resistance and different, like, weaknesses. And um, it also has different attacks, too. So you can still kind of tell which one is, like the fake one if you you know happen to uh, um, get the target off of line see that was like um, that was not a timed hit so I think this is the fake one and she's too weak to lightning yeah, yeah. <laughs> that also that also tells so we just want to go for this one. And we might as well because he's close to dying anyway. <clears throat> but let's just keep on aiming against him.
Yeah, as you can see, like the clone took way more damage there. And there he goes. Spiritovic is down. But yeah, that could actually be a pretty difficult fight, like, if you're playing this game for the first time. Or at least the original version. I do think the remake does make it, you know, a lot less intimidating. But still, I mean, Water Blast, without Geno Boost, that basically does, like, you know, more than half your HP and damage. So you have to really look out for that. Smithy is now in the race for the Star Pieces. What horrible surprises might we have in store for Mario? Well, probably more weapons, I guess. So there's the shed key that will open up the door that's been locked this whole time. Here's a note from Johnny to Mario. Knowing you, it must have been Breeze knocking out Speary, eh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. Aw, oh, I miss him already. Also, I do apologize that um, my voice is still not 100% back yet. Like, I haven't been doing all of these recordings on the same day. This is the third recording session I've done since after I got sick. And, like, it's still not completely gone away. So, I'm still kind of dealing with this head cold and... It's really, really obnoxious. But I got some medication from my doctor this week, so... Hopefully it should be gone by next time, but I did want to very quickly address that, since I could tell my voice was getting pretty raw there. Phew, thanks so much. I've had enough of this cramped, dirty old places like this. Hey, fella, you got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. It was mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, stop on by. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn. See you there. Oh, Mario. Thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. You exposed the fake townspeople and gave up your star to save us. Please take this with our thanks. So yeah, if you uh, give the star immediately, you get a flower box. But if you uh, say no to giving the star, the reward will keep getting worse until you get like a flower tab, I think. So um, yeah, there is a purpose for saying yes immediately. Even though you do miss out on seeing some flavor text. And it's kind of funny because it they... Try to make it look like they torture the villagers to get you to say yes. But in reality, they're just tickling the Elder, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Can't show too much violence in a Mario game, I guess. I'm so relieved that all the townspeople were all right in the end. Can you believe he didn't just kidnap him? He had the nerve to lock him up too? Me and my minions would never pull a stunt like that. Really? I seem to recall a certain someone kidnapping me not too long ago. Ugh. But no one got hurt, right? So, all's well that ends well. <laughs> Come on, let's scram already. The, the mold in here is bad for my sensitive nostrils. Here, here. We should see the sights in town now that it's back to normal. Maybe someone here can point us towards the next star piece. Oh, God. I love that they added that dialogue in for the remake. That is just so freaking cool. A youngster from Tadpole Ton recently moved here for good. Oh, oh yeah, that's the... Which, how many coins do I have? 45? Okay, still not quite enough for the next thing, but still. I've never seen the sea before. It sure is vast. Definitely worth the trip. Yeah, I don't think these NPCs were here in the original game. Which is kind of cool. Anyway, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the video, so I'm not going to 
explore all the new shops now. But I'll do that first thing in the next video. Let's talk to you now. I hear there's a strange shop in this town that's looking for beetles. Beetles, huh? Well, we'll have to take a look at that later. Mario, if it's a star that you're looking for, I may be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know where exactly this town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. Okay, well, we'll get there in time. But like I said, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I mean, we did two boss fights for crying out loud, so... I think we need a little bit of a rest. But this has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time when we uh, shop around here in Seaside. And then we can uh, start heading for Land's End. See you guys then. Later, folks.